And we've got to sincerely say we're sorry you're not with us, Tone. Devastating news. It was devastating, I think, though you've got to, you know, you've got to cope with it straight away. It's obviously the season and um, that's life and I'm sure the boys will continue and do well. But um, I've got a relaxing few weeks, obviously, so I'll, I'll enjoy that too. Girlfriend Nurse Paula, I believe, is there to look after you and take control? Paula is, yeah, she's been fantastic. Um, I left the hospital on Thursday and she's basically looked after me from then on, so it's, it's been a real help. Can I ask you uh, what you've been doing? I heard a whisper you were watching some videos earlier today. <laughs> I've been watching a couple of videos. I've been watching four quarters too, obviously, but um, I've also watched a little bit of a video of uh, my arthroscope, so check this out. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, hat. Compulsive viewing this. <coughs> this is actually oh. what happened. Oh. Hey, Tony. Yeah, can I think you, that... can you, it's Tim Watson speaking. Can you talk us through that bit? Do you know what that oh, bit I was? I can't really, but um, that was a bit of a nasty ligament. Right. You can just see all the mushy stuff is where there's been some damage. So it's just a stringy type area. So it's like a bit of rope's been torn apart. And I've actually done a couple of ligaments and oh. um, also a bit of tendon damage. So, you know, it was very disappointing and probably, mm. you know, one of the more difficult knee reconstructions, I think. Tone, when you actually did it on the night, on the day, did you know straight away you'd done a really serious thing or did you think you'd be okay? Not really, Bridget. Um, it obviously hurt and there was a bit of shock there, but um, it was a very simple incident yeah. and um, it was a, you know, a quick tackle after a kick. It jarred backwards and sort of hyperextended, but um, I thought you know, that there mightn't be a real problem and there, would, there wasn't much swelling after the game. I actually went out for dinner and, um, and had a couple of reds and <laughs> it still didn't swell that much. Oh, so gosh. it was very disappointing to go in Sunday and, and yeah. realise that the season was over. Now Paula is there with you at the moment. I'd like to ask her a question. Paula, I believe the Richmond Football Club uh, gave Tony a magnificent sports car, a Nissan 300ZX. <laughs> Uh, he won't be driving that for some six to weeks initially. <laughs> Who have you been talking to then? Never mind that. What is going spot? to happen to the car, Paula? Sorry? You heard the question. What is going to happen to the car? I'm not sure about that. Oh, my. <laughs> Paula, We're pretty sure. Paula Bridget speaking. What are you doing to help Tony? Veggie soup, that sort of thing? Yeah. Lots of it? Pretty much that. All right. Now, just in closing, Tone, this is a real danger game. Collingwood is due for a win. Richmond is due to hit a hurdle. Would you not agree? Well, they say that, but um, surely you've got to sort of look at sports in terms of form, and Richmond's had five wins and, and five good wins. Collingwood hasn't, so I think Richmond's got to go in favourites. They're playing well. They've had a, a reasonable rest, and apparently training's been very good this week, I'm told. So <laughs> I think the Tigers will come out on top. Paula, look after him, and uh, Tone, all the very best. Get well soon. Let's hear it for Thanks, Andy. Tony Free. Good night, Tony. Good night.